Hi, I'm Rick Crane of Angler's Artistry, and this is our 21st video. What we're going to show you on this video is how to paint an Alaskan red salmon, or also known as the sockeye salmon. It's, it's not a uh, forgiving color, so what I want you to do is I want you to really practice that speed and distance. I'm keeping a fair distance away from the fish and allowing this paint to build. If I try to achieve the color that I want with one or two passes, odds are I'm going to put myself in a, in a bad situation for even coverage. Again, I kind of focus on regions when I paint, so that way I can get the, the, the uniformed or even color that I'm looking for here. This is an area where you really want to use your reference. You want to make sure that you come in and uh, take a look at the reference that you have for your uh, specific sockeye, and you want to make sure that it's uh, you know accurate to what you're trying to paint. Just don't carpet bomb the, the fish with this color because it looks good. You want to be very specific about where it goes. I'm just darkening up the base a little bit where I'm going to be putting our next technique and our next color, which will be statuary bronze. But we're starting to paint some of the fingers of the flames that you'll see on a sockeye. In some cases, you'll see a great deal of this, and in some cases, you won't see any of it. But we're going to apply this technique so you can get the benefit out of uh, as much application of, of colors in different ways as possible to show you some different techniques. Just taking a, a soft brush now and I'm just diffusing the charcoal. I'm just kind of just diffusing it into the side of the head here, just mashing it. Okay, now back to doing a little bit of detail work. The cosmetic applicator, we're going to cut the bone plate frames in. It's just a real quick way of doing that so we don't have to airbrush later. What's nice about this is you can do uppers and lowers at the same time. What I do is we want to make sure that we put an initial tack coat down. Now we've already put a, a sealer or a barrier over this by using the tough fin, but I want you to go through the good practices so you can transfer this skill from one fish to the next. 